Next question. Jocko, Echo. Tough versus smart. So wait, what is this, do you think? Is this like, is it better to be tough than smart or just in general? Like, it, well, you just read the question as it was stated. It just said, tough topic for podcast, tough versus smart. And in my opinion, I don't think you need to be tough versus smart. I, need, I don't think it needs to be tough or smart. I think you need to be tough and smart. Right. I don't think those two traits are mutually exclusive at all. Mm-hmm. And being tough and being smart is actually what we want. <laughs> we, you know, so when we think of tough, I think we think of using, for instance, using blunt force to solve a problem. Right, and and you might think that using blunt force to solve a problem is stupid. And at the same time, you might think that stepping back from a problem and taking a look or stepping back away from it might be giving up. So you're weak. Or you're not tough. But there are times when those options are the best options. There's sometimes when blunt force is the best option. And you just got to power through and you got to be tough and you got to get over the hurdle or over the obstacle or through the obstacle through blunt force trauma. And there's other times where the best possible thing you could do is step back and quit beating your head against the wall and trying to blunt force through something. You want to step back and find another way. You want to be smarter, not harder. And I think, again, this comes out to balance. And people pushing when it's a good time to push and a good time to be tough and at the same time knowing that you need to balance that with being smart. And the only way you're going to be able to do that, the only way you're going to be able to figure out if you're just being too smart or not smart enough or too tough or not tough enough is to be able to detach and step back and look and see, assess the situation. If you get too in the weeds on it, You won't be able to see that, hey, you've beat your head against the wall 47 times. That's enough. Stop. Step back and find another way. Mm -hmm. Just like if you're so engrossed in solving the problem and finding the perfect solution and finding the least impact way through the smartest resolution, Mm -hmm. you don't, if you don't step back from that, you might not see that if you wait any longer on your brilliant plan, Mm -hmm. you're going to be overrun Mm -hmm. by the problem itself. So being smart and being tough are not mutually exclusive. You need to be both. And the way that you balance them is by stepping back, detaching, and doing, always doing an assessment of what's happening. So what if you had to choose, and I'm going to make the question even harder, no specific scenario. What if you had to choose? You got to be either really smart, but not tough, or really smart. Or or really tough and not smart. What what would you choose? Unfortunately, you have to go with being smarter. Yeah, I mean that's why just is that unfortunate? Fact. It's not unfortunate, but it's just the, the the reality is being smarter is better. Yeah, because being smarter means you can find another solution. Yep. But, you know the the wall that you might be banging your head against might literally be impassable through that through that section. Yep. And if all you're going to do is beat your head against it, eventually you're going to you're going to not make and you're going to die. Yeah. So, so being smart is always better. Yeah. And I, I guess I, I should add it just in life. Let's say, you know, the, really the question I was wondering is like in life, you know, God was there and he said, OK, I'm going to bestow one of these on you in just in your life. You can either have a knack for being really smart, but but not tough at all or uh, really tough and, and not be smart. Smart because it, it's, it's, it's it, I'm, I shouldn't even be like making this like this is a hard decision. Right. Being smarter is better. Yeah, <laughs> being being smarter is better. Yeah. That's, that's there's no doubt about it. That's yep. being smarter is better. But get, by the way, being smarter. Look look at the human race. Why do we rule the world over the animals? I mean, you tell me that you're tougher than a ch- than a chimpanzee. Well, me, no. yeah, but I'm just saying. <laughs> right. We... The only reason the the thing that wins is intellect. And yep. it'll win every single time. Well, it'll win a lot of the time. Yeah. A lot of the time. And if you're smart, you can figure out a way to, to overcome the toughness. To yeah. be tough. Yeah. And not even necessarily it's called to a fire make arm. your body. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. Like when you say, are you to, am I tougher than a gorilla? We'll say, 
Well, in a way, yeah. Yeah. You know, I if mean, I have a shotgun. Yeah. Or if I have a yeah anything, you know, anything that I think up to build or buy. You know, yeah. because of other people like me thought it up and I used their knowledge, you know, because I was yeah. that smart to do it. Which goes back to the original question or what question we answered a little while ago about college. Like, go to college and improve <laughs> you your go. smartness. Get smarter. Yeah. Yeah, the smarter. That's why I always say that on the podcast. I'm not, I'm not always talking about being stronger right. and faster and bigger and tougher. I'm always talking about you got to be smarter, too. No doubt about it. Yep. The, the success I've had from my life is zero of it. Just about zero of it has come from anything physical or being tough. Now, there is a mental toughness that does help you when you are doing intellectual things. Yep. I mean, I can force myself to do some intellectual uh, goals or some intellectual challenges that if I wasn't, if I didn't, I, tough isn't the best word, but if I wasn't mentally tough, I wouldn't be able to do it. Right. Yeah. But if you're smart but enough, if you're you smart, can figure, figure out, out ways way. to get mentally tough like yes. if you're like hey i'm I, I know i'm not mentally tough i'm smart enough to know i'm not mentally tough or i'm not physically yeah. tough let me figure out a way to get met i'll figure out a good workout program who, who would you rather be the guy that is really tough and can stay in cold water for 45 minutes or the guy that invents a wetsuit like jack o'neill <laughs> right. and i can stay in the water for unlimited amount of time now yeah, there you go nope. case in point jack o'neill keeping it real <laughs> boom name dropper <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I knew Jack Right, O'Neal. but, you know, you implied Me that. Me and Jack, we go way back. Yep. 